Would you believe me if I told you that there's an NBA player who's been wearing the same pair of socks inside out specifically for every game and has never washed them? Wait, what? Well, in a recent article by Bloomberg, performance trainer Damon Godard talked about bizarre habits of some of his clients and this is by far at the top of the list. Godard would not reveal who that player is, but I conducted an investigation and some of the findings will shock you. These are some of the most awkward NBA pregame rituals. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. Mike Bibby had an obsession with trimming his fingernails on the bench. This is not even before the game, but right in the middle of it. Much like LeBron, Bibby also had a nasty habit of biting his nails and someone from the Kings suggested that he at least used a nail clipper. So while taking a breather on the bench, you could see Mike giving himself a manicure. Jason Terry had a whole pregame routine that started the night before the game. The Jet would go to bed wearing the opposing team's shorts as his pajamas. And the night before each game, I sleep in the opposing team's game shorts. Michael Jordan famously wore his North Carolina shorts underneath the Bulls uniform, and this was even mentioned in the movie Space Jam. Whatever you do, don't forget my North Carolina shorts. Your shorts? From college? I wore them under my Chicago Bulls uniform every game. Yeah. Hey, I washed them after every game. Yeah. Sure. I did. Gross. Speaking of gross, to battle his insane soda addiction, Karam Butler started to chew plastic straws. Butler even played with the straw in his mouth like it was chewing gum. He got so into it to the point that he had a favorite type which were the McDonald's straws and could differentiate which one is which all while being blindfolded. That is McDonald's. That is the McDonald's. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Good for him I guess but this is straight up bizarre. So let's go back to the article. Jacob Neely, another personal trainer, told Bloomberg that one NBA player listened to Rihanna's work on repeat for a full year of training. A song that 80% of the lyrics is wag, 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 wag. This is a recipe for a brain explosion. Even though again there's no naming names, let's dig deeper and try to remember who was so obsessed with posting Rihanna lyrics, who asked her out on a date through Twitter repeatedly for like 2 years and even photoshopped images of them too. Oh right, that was Joel Embiid. So it may or may not be him, but for this to be another player, how much bigger of a Riri fan could he be? So after convincing myself that I successfully solved this puzzle, I took on the ultimate challenge to find out which player is the proud owner of the never washed and most foul smelling socks in NBA history. After hours of reviewing video footage and digging through different images online, the clues led me to three NBA stars. These are clear photos of Jason Tatum wearing these white socks inside out, all in different games as you can tell from the shoes. But while initially I suspected it could be him, upon further research I also found images of him wearing black socks as well. So obviously he switched them up and I continued my search. I went to Godard's Instagram profile and besides his everyday life photos, there are also some of his clients. And there's Kristaps Porzingis. So obviously they've worked out together. And taking a closer look, during his time with the Mavs, Porzingis almost exclusively wore these white socks with an orange line and he always rolled them down a bit. This was extremely interesting and I was starting to believe that he may be our guy. But then I saw this. A 2015 tweet from ESPN's Dave McMenamin revealing that Kyrie Irving has been wearing these same socks under those classic NBA ones every game and in this photo even in the hospital bed. Is this the deciding clue? Was I looking in the wrong place this entire time for the exposed socks on the outside when in fact it was the pair underneath that was crucial? Is Kyrie Irving our mystery player or does some of you out there know the real answer to this puzzle? If so, join in on this investigation with your clues that will help to confirm or deny my theory. This is the type of in-depth analysis that we're doing in the dog days of the NBA offseason. Still a quality one if you ask me. This took a lot of effort so hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Talk to you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> Guess what?
These are some of the most awkward. These are some of the most. Some of the most awkward NBA pregame ritual. What up? Rituals. Awkward NBA pregame ritual. These are some of the most.